Well, all right. This is an attempt to demystify logarithms really quickly using something called the circle of logs. And I've actually not seen this in a textbook, but uh, a colleague of mine showed me this and I thought it was, I thought it was great, I thought it was brilliant. So what we're talking about is if we have a logarithm, so like if, let's say we have a log base, I don't know, three of 70, and that equals x, let's say. We can talk about a lot of things with this. So we could talk about the change of base formula to actually figure out what this is. But just into converting this into an exponential function is uh, kind of difficult for some students, seeing what this actually is doing. And um, using the circle of logs, we can, we can see that. So if I wanted to convert this into an exponential uh, function, uh, this is how I would do it. I would look at the base first. So the base is right here, this smaller one. So it's this, and then I kind of draw this circle with arrows. All right, so this is where the circle part comes from. It kind of goes like this. So three to the power of x equals 70. And that's exactly what's happening with this logarithm. So the answer is for this logarithm is x, which is actually the exponent in the exponential. So it's base three, so three to the power of x equals 70. Those two statements right here are equivalent. All right, so if I write this, that is saying this. If I write this, that is saying this. These are equivalent statements. So in a textbook, you'll probably see something like this. You'll see log base a, so it's just an arbitrary number down here, uh, of c, let's say, equals b. And it'll have other some other statement. This is true if and only if a to the power of b equals c. So converting back and forth, so a to the power of b, a to the power of b, equals c. So this is how the circle of log, if you have, this is the base, this is the exponent, this is the answer, so to speak. And that's exactly what this statement says right here. And you can go the other way with it. So if you had another example, let's say you just had, I don't know, seven to the power of three x equals, I don't know, 500. If the problem says convert this into a logarithm, well, what would you do? This is the base, right? So if we have a log, we need a base. What's the base? The base right here, same as this part. And then remember, 7 to the power of 3x, so the circle would go this way. The answer, so to speak, is the exponent, and that is 500. So this is really log base 7 of 500 equals 3x, because 7 to the power of 3x equals 500. 7 to the power of 3x equals 500. So these are examples of practice problems. Good luck.